I want to start by saying watch this video all the way through as I came across some errors so you might as well. So just stick to what I'm doing and you'll be fine. So if you have any suggestions or any questions, let me know. I'll answer them as quick as possible. As well, I'd greatly appreciate if you guys can engage with this post. It'll really help me out as a small creator. So let's get started. First, we're going to want to go to uh, Code Reavers, where we're going to be using Crossover. You can go and use Parallels, uh, but I'm doing this tutorial on Crossover. So if you want this to be like seamless for you, I just go with crossover for now um, and you want to go for the uh, free trial here so uh, the free trial should be yeah 14 days long and then after that you will need to uh, either get the 12 month or the crossover life uh, for 500 to be able to run uh, Elden Ring because Elden Ring night rain isn't native to mac as you can see here it's only on windows and you can see i already have it installed here but i'm currently on a mac so i can't run the game so i'm gonna be going through how to do that so i already have a crossover installed so i'm just gonna boot it up and since i i'm on the free trial it's just letting me know that it will stop working in 14 days so just gonna hit try now and yours won't look like this there won't be any of it, it'll just be blank. It'll probably look like this, it'll look like this screen. And basically you want, you, you just wanna go into here and type in Elden Ring and yeah, there we go, click on it. And it, sh it should look almost exactly like this. It shouldn't be much different. Uh, there may be some changes because I already have Elden Ring installed, but you're just gonna wanna press install and it should take you and It'll probably go through the Steam installation as well. So this might take a little while. Um, let's open up Steam. And an error occurred while installing. No licenses. And we're basically just going to want to go to uh, Elden Ring, Night Ring. Oh, just to there. there we go. Go onto the page, and you're gonna need, and you're gonna need to buy Elden Ring. Um, I'm assuming you already know the, the cost of Elden Ring. It's not gonna be free. However, if you're looking for a free option, let me know because there's. Um, I have seen going around that there's a cracked version, and if you'd like to see me make a video on installing the, being able to play on a Mac of the cracked version, let me see the free version. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that too. But basically, you're just going to want to add it to card, buy it, and so we're going to go uh, uh, go and press play now. So uh, in the instance that I already have it, so I'm just going to press play now and we'll see, about, see what happens. So this Steam is running on a crossover. So, oh, okay, the anti-cheat has started. Oh, no, we didn't get to see that. Play now. Let's see, let's see this yeah it'll basically it might load for a bit and it'll basically give us the fail to load the anti-cheat module because parallels and crossover can't run the anti-cheat so that's that's basically what we're gonna be fixing today so let's go to the library to make this a little easier and go to local files game okay and you can see here there's start protected this is the anti-cheat right here and then this is night ring so i don't know if it'll let me maybe make this bigger okay it's not gonna really let us read it but it says start protected uh, exe hold on okay, yeah that's the anti-cheat and we're going to want to rename this so let's First, copy that name, okay, and then go on to our Night Rain EXE. Basically, paste that name into the game name. Oh, maybe let's rename this. Okay, that's changed. So you can see it, it just, uh, you don't really need to name it, but be sure to subscribe, okay? It'll help me out. Uh, so you can see it just went blank. So now it just says, you just want to name it something random so you know it's kind of there 
we won't really need to use it moving forward. So maybe now we should be able to rename this. Yes, start protected. Okay, so we just renamed the actual application to the anti-cheat name. Now, when we run this, it should run. Let's see. And okay. program has encountered serious problems. Okay, so after we got that error message, I went through this once again. And right above movie here, there should be a, another folder that says uh, something to do with the anti cheat. And I basically just uh, put that whole thing in the trash. Like, I just deleted it because. What it ends up doing is it reinstalls, even though we rename the uh, anti-cheat right here, it ends up reinstalling one. Uh, so it prevents it from launching the actual game. And then I just gave my computer a quick uh, restart and things were good to go and the game's running fine now. If you have any uh, issues, let me know. And if you wanna see uh, the cracked version so you can play the game for completely free from what I've heard uh, also let me know and I'll answer any questions that I find